Hey, how's it going? So today we are going to be checking our kingdom. Now, let me just tell you that kingdom management is the most scuffed and glitched minigame or activity or whatever you want to call it in all of RuneScape. I am really bad with checking up on my kingdom. Like, I rarely ever check it, maybe every couple weeks. And whenever I do go, I have to get the percentage back up from like 50%. And so this time I had around 60%. And every time I chopped a tree, the dude kept telling me the storeroom is full and it would stop the animation, but I would still gain approval from chopping the tree. So I had to manually click on the tree every single time I cut a log because the dude would keep stopping me. Another thing that's super sketchy about Kingdom is that whenever you stop an animation and click on it again, your percentage will be rounded up. So weeds, for example, give like 0.75% or something, but if you click on the weeds between each one, you'll get 1% for each weed. Another thing that's kind of weird is that you would think that the time you get your resources collected would be at midnight GMT, but no. For some reason, it's designed so that your resources are collected at the exact time that you finish Throne of Miscellanea. So if you haven't done the quest yet, but are still planning to, make sure you finish at the time you would want to collect your resources at every day, if that's what you want to do. I don't want to turn this video into like a complaining about kingdom management video, but there's one more thing that I'm really surprised that's never been fixed. And it's when you're collecting your resources. If you teleport away at a specific time while he's depositing your items, the screen to adjust your workers will still be up and you can adjust them from wherever you teleport to. Anyway, so I checked what my workers were on and I went to my bank to sell off all the herbs and gems so I would know exactly what I collected. And of course, when I got there, I realized that I've been doing a lot of Slayer and PVM recently, so I've had all these random items in my bank, which I forgot to sell. And he told me that I need to clear some spots in my bank, so I had to go back and do that. I forgot exactly how long it's been since I collected, and I honestly can't even remember. I don't think I could even give you an accurate estimate. I mean, I don't know, maybe a year, I guess? I, I really don't know. I'm sure there's some way to do some kind of math and figure out based on the amount of resources that I get. But all I can tell you for sure is that it's been a pretty long time. Something that I've heard is that your favor between days doesn't matter, and your favor only should be at 100% when you collect it. And I can't confirm or deny this, so if any of you know for sure, let me know. But I just want to get 100 just to be safe. And I finally made it back to Grim for the resources, and well, here we go, check it out. So that's not too shabby, and I didn't even know that you get seeds from it, I thought it was just herbs. So that was pretty cool, although most of the seeds were just junk anyways. But I mean, imagine if my account was an Iron Man, there are so many herbs. Like, look at that, most of the herb counts are in the thousands, that's insane. Doing Kingdom is a lot less work than trying to farm all of those. And then, bro, I mean, 50,000 tuna and 15,000 swordfish, that'd be some nice cooking XP for mid-level Ironmen too. And that would last a pretty long time for training Slayer. I guarantee I would've gotten a Clue Scroll too, but I already have Easy through Master in my bank because I don't do them, they just seem like XP waste to me, but I know at some point I'll end up doing them. So I went back to the GE to sell all these items, and I kind of messed up because I paused the recording as I was selling them because I was just getting so excited <laughs> and I kind of forgot to unpause it. I'm looking at all these items I just got and it legit looks like a private server. It's like, yeah, let me just spam by all these herbs to get 99 herb lore. But yeah, like I said, I'm usually pretty bad with keeping up with my kingdom and whenever I went, I would just make sure that there's at least a few mil left in the coffers so I wouldn't have to worry about it for a while. So in the last, uh, however long this took, probably a year, or something, but the amount of GP that I ended up gaining was 27 mil. I wish I knew how much I invested so I could tell how much profit I made, but I bet there's a formula out there to figure it out. Maybe, or maybe not, I don't know. I mean, this minigame is so broken, I wouldn't be surprised if it really was just random. But 27 mil is really nice to see, and that just means that I'm that much closer to doing efficient PVMing. So yeah, this is why you do your kingdom, kids. That is gonna wrap up this video though, and I just wanna talk about some other things real quick that are going on with the channel. So after watching the poll and reading comments from yesterday's video, I did decide to make a hardcore Iron Man, and I'm not gonna say what the name is because I'm gonna leave it as a surprise for tomorrow's video, which will be the first progress video on that account. I know a good number of you wanted me to stay with the alt because it was unique and a lot of other YouTubers already do hardcore Iron Man, but I'll talk about more tomorrow why I chose to make the hardcore instead. But besides that, if you'd like to join our little community on Discord, that link will be in the description. And my clan chat Mudkip is always open, so come stop by and chat with people and maybe make some friends. And if you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like. And if you want to see more from me, then please subscribe. It truly would mean a lot. I'm just so excited about playing on the hardcore though. It's a lot of fun and I am really excited for the future. But as always, I just want to thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow.